often have you been driving down the street and then, bam, you hit a pothole? Or at least you swerve to avoid hitting the pothole. And then you think to yourself, someone really needs to fix that. Or maybe you're walking around your neighborhood and you see a street light burned out. And you're like, someone really needs to fix that. I know you plan to find out who to call, but then you get busy, life gets in the way, and you forget, at least until you run into the pothole again. Or maybe you're more concerned about what's happening in your neighborhood, construction projects, incident reports. You might think, who is my council person and how do I even contact them to find this information out? Or maybe you just wanna be more involved socially, meet your neighbors, arrange some kind of community project to make your neighborhood a more welcoming place. Yeah, there are different websites to do all that, publications that you can look up to read about it, but there's really nothing in one central loca location, a simple site that was the case until Citizen Connect. Stephen? Yeah, so we start off by providing a way to find out who your local councilman is. Uh, so you can go to find your ward uh, enter your address and we're using the Google Maps API to make sure we're getting a valid address entered. Um, once that's selected from the options offered, we then will display your ward that you're in along with your council person. Uh, contact email, so if you want to just contact them directly through email, you can do that uh, along with a phone number and a link to their website um, so you can get more information about your council person um, along with other things that are going there. We also do have a link to the city council calendar so you can see when the upcoming meetings uh, for both the council and the committees are there. We also have added a resource link, so if you want to find out more about how to work with your city government, uh, the activities going on, options for volunteering and such, those are also going to be available from the website. And now, Dane. Thank you, Stephen. So users may register or log in using the convenience of Google or Facebook API. They may also choose to register with their email address. And our registration is easy and fast. All we need is your name, email, and password, as well as the verification. Once registered, users can report a problem like a pothole or a light out. Requiring registration protects the integrity of the reports, prevents people from just throwing up potholes when they don't exist. And Users may also create or sign up for community projects. Chris? So our aim was to create a very simple way for the citizens of Cleveland to uh, communicate very common problems with their representatives. And we do just that. You simply drag the marker to the location of the map, choose the type of incident that happened, and uh, click Create, and it sends off that report. We send the uh, reports off weekly, um, so as we're not spamming the, uh, the representatives, you know, every single second uh, um, a report is made. Those emails include the number of reports that were um, issued and the types, um, as well as a link to the, um, a weekly report that includes the map, um, a map with all the locations and the types of them. Sir? Citizen Connect puts a strong emphasis on being active and involved in the community. And so we incorporated a feature that allows our registered users to view community projects, suggest community projects, and join community projects. Citizen Connect gives all Cleveland citizens the ability to find their ward and who their council persons are, to file reports, and become active in the community, all in one easy to use app. On behalf of Melissa, Steven, Doreen, Chris, and myself, Sarah, we are Citizen Connect, and thank you.